When this woman, after returning from a long trip, started having unbearable headaches, no one knew what to expect. However, what her husband investigated deeper, what he discovered made him call the doctor. Prisha's flight was expected to land that morning back home in the States, and Felix had risen early to prepare for the welcome. He was filled with joy at the thought of seeing his wife again after several months. Little did he know that this happiness would soon be overshadowed. Prisha was a dedicated botanist, and one of her research studies had taken her all the way to Australia. She had gone to study a unique plant species known for its medicinal benefits when crossbred with similar plants. These species were found only on the Australian continent, making the trip an exciting opportunity for her to conduct studies and examine their genetic makeup. However, Prisha was unaware that this journey would subject her to unexpected health challenges. Felix arrived at the airport, his heart racing with anticipation. As passengers began to disembark, his eyes eagerly scanned the crowd. Finally, he spotted Prisha, and they rushed towards each other, embracing tightly. For Felix, who was an orthopedic doctor, the months without her had been tough. He had missed her company deeply, and seeing her again filled them with overwhelming happiness. Their reunion was heartfelt and memorable. They held each other close, savoring the moment. Felix couldn't help but notice how much he had missed Prisha's presence, her laughter and her warmth. It felt like a piece of his life had been restored, and for a brief moment, everything seemed perfect. Things began to show signs of falling apart when Prisha, during the Uber ride home with Felix, complained of a growing headache that had started when she boarded the flight. Felix, being an orthopedic doctor, dismissed it as stress, fatigue, or even jet lag. As soon as they arrived home, he administered some painkillers and relief drugs to ease her discomfort. However, despite having taken the medications, Prisha wasn't responding to the treatment. It was normal for the couple to talk and keep each other company, sharing stories about their work and daily lives. Now that Prisha had been away for a long time, they were eager to engage in a long conversation. Prisha excitedly began detailing her research in Australia, explaining how fascinating it had been to study a unique plant species. Felix, equally eager, shared how he had coped with her absence and the challenges he faced alone. Felix, elated by his wife's return, was trying to build an engaging conversation like they always did. However, he couldn't help but notice that Prisha was struggling to keep up. She seemed worn out, and her headache was getting worse. Prisha described the pain as growing more intense, making it difficult for her to stay engaged in their usual lively discussions. Though Felix was concerned, he didn't give it much thought, as he had already prescribed relief and painkillers. He concluded that she must have been extremely stressed and the headaches were due to jet lag. He then advised her to take a long nap, hoping she would recover and feel better by the time she woke up, expecting the drugs to have taken effect by then. However, this wasn't the outcome. Prisha, however, struggled to sleep, prompting Felix to help her with some doses to make her sleep better. By this time, Felix's concern about Prisha's headaches were growing. He couldn't shake off the feeling that something wasn't right. The situation took a bad downturn that night when the couple had gone to bed. Felix was suddenly woken up by someone shaking him. He opened his eyes to find Prisha rolling around the bed in discomfort, holding her head and groaning in pain. She was shedding tears and Felix had never seen her so distressed and unhappy. The tears signified just how much pain she was enduring. At that moment, Felix knew something was terribly wrong. His concern for Prisha deepened. He took her into his arms, trying to console her and get her comfortable, but it didn't work. She kept sobbing in pain, repeatedly saying her head hurt. This sight touched Felix deeply. Just hours earlier, he had gone to the airport to welcome her home with joy and now, that same day, his wife was writhing in pain. Consoling his wife, Felix realized that he had no other option but to drive her to the hospital in the middle of the night. Her case was clearly an emergency. Before leaving, Felix inspected her for symptoms of any other illness he could identify, but she seemed fine apart from the intense headache. He hoped that at the hospital, she would receive better treatment and undergo medical tests to ascertain the cause of her headache. Felix also worked at the same hospital, and though he wasn't on duty that day, he assisted the other medical staff in examining his wife's case. They started with blood tests and other diagnostics. However, Felix's panic deepened when the tests came out clean, revealing no underlying medical condition. According to the tests, Prisha was totally fine, but in reality, she wasn't. 
She was enduring serious headaches, and seeing his wife in such a condition tugged at Felix's heartstrings, making him very sad but fueling his determination to uncover what was medically wrong with her. For a moment, Felix pondered the issue. Headaches were usually a result of stress or symptoms of other ailments. Considering Prisha had been working in the wild forests of Australia, there was a possibility she had been bitten by a mosquito or another parasitic insect that could transmit diseases like malaria, which includes headaches as a symptom. However, what made the situation scary was that the tests they had done revealed she was totally fine. They had examined her bloodstream and conducted other medical procedures, but she seemed entirely healthy. Felix started to think of the impossible. Could it be a brain tumor? That terrifying possibility began to make sense to him, though he would never wish such illness on his wife. He knew he couldn't take any chances, so he quickly decided to conduct an MRI scan to examine her head and brain activity. This was the only test they hadn't done, and since the other tests didn't detect any medical issues, a scan might reveal something that could help them. Before Prisha was taken to the laboratory for scan, Felix walked into her ward to kiss her forehead, hold her hands, and offer some comfort. Looking at her, it hurt Felix deeply that his wife had to endure this ordeal. He knew that he was her major support now and had to do everything in his power to get to the root of her mysterious headaches. As they took Prisha to the lab for the tests, Felix's heart pounded with suspense and fear. He had no idea what the outcome of the scans would be, but hoped against hope that it wasn't something life-threatening like a brain tumor or cancer. However, little did Felix know that more surprises awaited him, leaving him frustrated and clueless. After the tests were done and the analysis completed, it came as a shocker that Prisha's brain activity seemed totally normal, except for a little activity detected at the front part of her brain, which also seemed not too out of place and was considered normal. Unlike Felix's fears, she didn't have any brain tumor, cancer or anything medically wrong with her. While it seemed like good news, it wasn't at all. Felix was left frustrated and confused. The tests had not detected any anomalies in Prisha's condition, yet her situation was worsening each hour. The unknown cause of her ailment was even more disturbing for Felix and the other medical staff. They had no clue where to start in treating her case, which was even scarier. Felix had been a medical doctor for years and had seen many odd cases, but none of them seemed like this one. At least the odd and rare medical conditions he had treated in the past had been detected through scans and tests. This particular case involving his wife Prisha was different, as they had no clue to help them treat her. Felix could only console his wife, assuring her that everything would be fine. She couldn't be discharged yet, as she was still under medical care. Her situation had worsened since they arrived at the hospital, causing the staff to place her on customized anesthetics to reduce the pain she was feeling. This sight was heartbreaking for Felix. He felt helpless seeing his beloved Prisha suffer without a clear path to healing. His mind raced with worry and fear, but he knew he had to stay strong for her, hoping that somehow they would uncover the mystery behind her pain and find a way to make her well again. Several weeks passed, yet there were no improvements in Prisha's health condition. Her case had led to her being transferred to a more specialized hospital for medical treatment, but there were no positive outcomes. For Felix, it was even sadder. Prisha was his gist partner, his wife, and ever since she traveled for her research in Australia, he had missed her charming personality. Now that she was back, it felt like she was still away. He missed and cherished the times when she was healthier and always brought joy and happiness to him. Now he was sad, in panic, and worried about her medical condition. Since all his efforts had proved futile in helping Prisha's case, he decided to explore alternative options. Lost in his thoughts, he decided to go through her research file from her trip to Australia, where she studied plant species. He was merely curious to glance through it, but nothing could have prepared him for the fact that this move would be an unexpected beacon of hope for him and Prisha. As he looked through the pictures of the plant specimens she had worked with, it started to dawn on Felix that Australia was very popular for its wildlife and vegetation, which were vast and not fully explored. Many humans had come in contact with deadly plants that could cause harm to them later. As he glanced through the file, he caught sight of a particular photograph where Prisha and her team posed with a rare plant specimen that looked familiar to Felix. This familiarity made his stomach upset and his heart pound harder. He remembered seeing the plant somewhere, perhaps in an article, but what he remembered most was that the plant was full of parasites. When animals consumed it, 
they could pass the parasites to humans if they ate their meat. For about two months, this seemed like the biggest discovery and explanation for Prish's case. While he wasn't sure about this, he had a hunch that this was a thread he could pull in uncovering the nature of Prish's ailment. In his years of medical service, he had read some blogs about only two known cases where humans were badly infected by parasites after they consumed an infected animal that got infected from consuming the plant species. Since it was the exact plant species he saw in the photographs, there could be a possibility that Prisha had ingested food contaminated with the parasite. Though the dots didn't quite connect, it was the only chance he had and he had a nagging feeling to investigate further. Felix contacted a distant specialist doctor colleague Dr. Jake, who had treated a similar case. He detailed Prisha's condition and tied it to her trip to Australia about two months ago. Days later, Dr. Jake arrived at the hospital to personally inspect Prisha. He had not even done much inspection when he turned around in disbelief and shock at everyone in the room. Curious Felix asked what was wrong, but Dr. Jake simply asked to conduct a scan on Prisha's brain to ascertain her brain activity. This time they all found the same unusual brain activity they had discovered during their previous tests, which seemed normal. However, Jake didn't see it as normal. He pointed out that something seemed to be living in Prisha's head and was the cause of her pain. This gave Dr. Jake and Felix the reason to believe that Prisha might have ingested food contaminated with parasites from the plant species she had been researching in Australia. From Dr. Jake's experience treating a similar case, these parasites could grow to a sizable amount in parts of the body. Finally, things seemed to start getting brighter for Felix and Prisha. For the first time, the couple was beginning to find the root of the illness Prisha was facing, and they gave it all they had. On demand, arrangements were made for Prisha to be transferred to Dr. Jake's hospital, where he had the resources to properly look into her case and treat her. At the new hospital where Dr. Jake attended to her, his medical examinations revealed that something was indeed growing in Prisha's head. While this was a rare and unbelievable development, it was real, and the biopsy surgery was required to remove the growing organism. Arrangements were made for the biopsy, and during the surgery, the most shocking discovery was made. One that left everyone in the wards in shock, including Felix, who couldn't believe his eyes. After carefully dissecting and opening up her skull, they couldn't believe their eyes as they retrieved an 8 centimeter long Roberti red spring-like worm, commonly found in carpet pythons, from her brain. It was a very rare discovery that shocked everyone as they watched the red worm wriggle in the glass beaker, where they kept it after removing it from her brain. Felix couldn't believe that the same unusual activity they had discovered earlier in her brain and dismissed as not being a worry was actually the root of her problem lying in plain sight. He struggled to take in what he had just seen. After Prisha finally woke up and was stitched up, she too was left totally speechless when she discovered that one of the plant specimens she had worked on during her research trip to Australia had gotten her infected with its parasites after she had somehow ingested meat already infected with the parasite. Surprisingly, within a few days, Prisha was totally relieved and was her normal self again. However, this wasn't something the couple would be forgetting anytime soon, as it really was a challenging two months of struggle with the ailment for them. However, it also provided more in-depth insights into the nature of the plants she was researching, as she had first-hand witnessed how the parasites from the plants could spread to humans, which could be deadly especially in countries with poor medical facilities. Finally, the couple overcame the hurdle together and went on to be the happy couple they had always been, enjoying each other's company.